Jerome's West is the best place to buy a mobile home. Yeah, Lewis, I know they call you professor, but you're stupid. I know that Travel Land Mobile Home is the best place to buy a home. Well, I work at Mobile Homes West, so I know that's the place folks should come. Have you seen the pretty gals at Travel Land Mobile Homes? That is the place any smart guy would go. Hey, folks, I think they're both right. Both Mobile Homes West and Travel Land Mobile Homes will deliver anywhere in Oregon or Washington. So wherever you live, the smart thing to do would be to visit both big lots and see the fantastic selection they have. Even my rabbit Harvey thinks Travel Land Mobile Homes is the best place to buy a home of your own. That shows he's a dumb buddy, too. Nations up that number I told you about. We're going to have a big over-the-top battle royal for a $1,000 prize purse to the winner and five other matches, so we'll have a real hot one here next Saturday night. And for next Saturday only, we're going to give the kids a break, and there'll be a ch child admitted with each paid adult admission next Saturday night. So bring the kids and come on down. And also, Tuesday night, we've definitely scheduled at Lonnie Main's request a street fight where there are no rules, everything goes, goes until one man is unconscious or quits. And Lonnie Main has requested that the referee sit on the floor and not even get in the ring because everything's going to go. How come everything's going Lonnie Main's way? This is my town right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be the best two out of three falls on a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, 245 pounds, Las Vegas Playboy Buddy Roll. His opponent in this corner, 275 pounds from Salt Lake City, the blonde bomber Lonnie Main. Out of Salt Lake City. Or the adopted home of Portland, Oregon, Moondog. Moondog me, no matter what happens here tonight in this one. And incidentally, we are very glad that the main event being brought to you at the urging of our sponsors. And with his robe still on, watch out, with his robe still on, going with the bombs away, Lonnie Main. One, two, three, and the first ball is over. The first ball is over. Buddy Rose never got his robe off. Buddy Rose never got his robe off. He took a wild swing at Lonnie Main. Miss. And that was all it took. In fact, he came up behind Lonnie. As Lonnie ducked, he just lifted up and had him on his shoulders. Body slammed him, went to the top rope, came with a flying knee drop that he calls the bombs away. And sick in the ring, actually sick in the ring from that action, Buddy Rose. And Maine wants some more of him. Maine out after him. And I'll tell you, I have seen Maine upset before, but never like this. Rose, a man who's becoming known for his crippling tactics, not beating them, not giving them physical pain, but actually crippling them. And Woskowski's out of his dressing room, yelling at Maine to stay back. Maine says, I'll, I'll take you on right here. Rose taking his robe off. And he's had a bad knee. And Lonnie, Lonnie and Woskowski arguing at ringside. We better just hold it right here. Lonnie Main rushing around the ring. 
Sandy Marr trying to break it up. He gets there before Wyskowski and Maine can get at it. Rose hitting for the dressing room. Ronnie Maine down at ringside. Saying nothing personal. Shaking hands with referee Sandy Barr and saying, I just want that man so bad I can taste it. Well, let's get things put together as Lonnie, the popular choice of the whole world as he picks up a little girl and walks back into the crowd. It's true. The new America's champion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Moon. okay LaBelle, let's just forget about my hair getting cut off, okay? Huh? That's only fair. I'm the champion, but you know what? Let's just forget. I'll tell you what. If he forgets about the match Saturday, I'll sweep the floors. I don't want my hair cut off, baby. I don't want my hair. They don't want my hair cut off out there. You send letters in. You don't want my hair cut off. No way. It's too pretty. Don't touch my hair. They don't want my hair. Falcon, forget about the mask. Forget about all the motion pictures. I'll sweep the floors. I ain't scared. I ain't scared, LaBelle. I'll tell you that much, but let's forget. Let's just forget about all of what I said, because I ain't a bad guy. I ain't a bad guy. I don't want my hair, and I just heard I don't want my beard. My beard goes too. Ah, I'm pretty, but they take my hair, and they take my beard. I'll look like you, LaBelle. I'll look like you, and I don't want to look like that. So let's just forget about it. I'll go and I'll mop all the floors in the Olympic. I won't bother nobody. Let's forget about it. Isn't that fair? I know where I'll be sitting Saturday night. And uh, I can't get out of it then, right? I can't get out of the match. My hair or his match. Now that ain't fair. That ain't fair. What? He's not getting out of it, Gene. He signed a contract. Moondog Maine, you're in that match Saturday night. You're putting up this hair, you and can't. he's putting up his mask. Yeah. And that's all there is. No! No! Stop! Well, I'm going to be here, Jeff. Tell us how to get tickets for the big one. It'll take place. I wouldn't miss it Saturday night for the world. And wrestling... Because heavyweight champion needs no introduction, Moondog Man. That's right. You said it right, stupid. But I'm going to tell you what I want. I want one thing. Mexican death match. Nothing counts. Nothing counts. You can kick. You can stop. You can rip, you can tear. I just want one thing, LaBelle, one thing. I want you people, because I got a lot of friends out there. I want you to call in. I want you to call in, lose or leave town. I don't want to leave this town. Let me tell you, I got a lot of friends out there, and you call in right now, right now, and you tell them, you don't want lose or leave town. Moondog man, because I know you love me. I know, I know you love the Moondog. You can't help but love somebody like the Moondog. And you know it. Shut up out there, you idiots. They can't help but love the Moondog. You get on that telephone and you call right now. Mexican death match. And you know what? That hold. I know what that hold, Gene LaBelle. I know with that hole what's going to happen. And I know my friends are going to stick behind me. Because I got friends. I got Tom. I got Dick. I got Harry. I got Judy. I got Betty. I got Ron. I got everybody. You call and you tell them you don't want Moondog. Moondog means to leave the state of California and the county of Los Angeles. You don't want to see me lose, so I want you to get on that telephone, because Moondog ain't going to lose. But with that Holt, I'm kind of suspicious. I don't know. But I want you on that phone right now, you idiots. And I know you love me. You tell them. You call and you tell them, Moondog, you stay here, Moondog. We don't want you to leave. 
Here's a dime so you can make uh, the phone call. I know we got 20 phone uh, people on uh, right now, and uh, you can be the first. Well, hey, what do you mean? Better call. I don't need a dime. I ain't leaving town. They won't want me to leave town. Don't tell me that. You're dying. Hey, ho, ho. And here's Jeff Walton to tell you how to phone for reservations. Y el tremendo debut de Go, un tremendo luchador. Piper se impulsa las cuerdas y va en plancha. Una, dos, tres palmadas. Ahí le lanzó, le jaló la pierna. Mundo Main a Backland. Y le levanta la mano derecha a Piper. ¿Pero qué estoy diciendo? Yo estoy loco. Estoy loco. Es Piper estaba bien, luchando bien. contra una fotografía. Y yo estoy ahí narrando la lucha. Bueno, pero ah, qué barbaridad. Yeah. Estoy loco, I'm crazy. Wow. Volvemos en un momento, amigos, no se muevan después de un mensaje comercial. You're right, Hector, you're right. Now I'd like to talk to Roddy Piper. <laughs> Did you see me in there? Did you see the action, ladies and gentlemen? Take a look at this finely honed athlete. I am a lion. I've got a lion's heart, brother. I've got the strength of a bear, brother. I'm an animal. I'm pure beast. I got a tiger in my tank. Bob Becklin, take a look at this man. This man, he turned to wrestling because he could not make it anymore as howdy duty. This man was howdy duty when he was a young boy. Now he claims to be the world's heavyweight champion. Well, Bob Becklin, no more are you going to be the world's heavyweight champion because the lean, mean machine, Rowdy Roddy Piper is here, brother. Mr. Backlund, take a look at yourself, Mr. Backlund. I know you're watching. You sent men to try to hurt me, but you could not do it, Mr. Backlund. This is the new heavyweight champion of the world. I'm in shape. I'm lean. I'm mean, Mr. Backlund. I'm an animal. Mr. Backlund, there, there's just no limit to what I could do to you, Mr. Backlund. And to just ensure, Mr. Backlund, just ensure there's no hanky-panky, I have my main man, Moondog Main, is going to be in my corner, brother. He's going to be in my corner, Mr. Backlund. There is no way, Mr. Backlund. <laughs> laughing and joking, a smoking and a poking. The lean, mean machine is going to be there with a little accompaniment. <laughs> Moondog Main is going to be in my corner to ensure that I will become the new heavyweight champion of the world. Bob Backlund, you're in trouble, brother. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear? When Roddy Piper tells you something, baby, you better get your umbrella out because it's going to rain. And I'm going to be in that corner. Bob Backlund. Uh -huh. And I'll be sitting in that corner. But you know the big thing? You know what the big thing is? Turn your TVs up because I ain't going to scream tonight. Now, you people, turn your TV up. Keep the kids quiet because I'm going to talk quiet. I ain't going to scream for once. But, Mill Masterus, I am going to beat your head off. You hear me? Mill, I am going to beat you once and for all, boy. I'm going to whip you like a man whips a dog. And when I say dog, you're nothing but a mongrel. That's all he is, LaBelle. Nothing but a mongrel. And I'm going to take and I'm going to beat and I'm going to stomp. And then after I beat him, <laughs> I'm going to watch Piper. I'm going to watch Piper take that world championship from Bob Backlund. And we're going to go out and we're going to party. We might not come back for a whole week. We don't know. We haven't decided. But I know one thing. Mill Mascaras, when I walk out of that ring, I am going to be the champ. Piper, when he walks out of that ring, he's going to be the champ. Would you like to come with us after we defeat both of them? Would you? Well, you're not invited anyway, so don't even answer that question. Piper, champion, Moondog, champion, and the rest of you can go to... Those are the... the 29th at the Cobb Palace. We're in Los Angeles. Let me bring in Roddy Piper and the United States heavyweight champion, Moondog. Okay, we're sitting down here in L.A. I wish I was in Frisco so I could talk to the people right now. Roddy Piper, you've had it. You've had it. You got something in here. I understand. Coming up on the 29th, right? Huh? Something of a match. Something of a match. And you know what? 
He broke two of my teeth last match. And I'll tell you, Piper, you insulted them people in Frisco, and they are my people. But the 29th, you ain't going to be there for one reason, because after we get through with the match, they're going to send you back to Scotland. And the match, something about a Scottish fling, is that what it's called? That's right. A ling? Huh? Is that what it's... Big mouth. That's all you are, man, is a big mouth. You want to know what a Scottish fling match is, man? Well, I'm going to let you in on a secret, you ugly old goat. I'm going to let you on a... You don't you get in our way. Yeah, I'll fight you right now, man, except you got all the... Yeah, well, you, you just listen to, to me, you. man. You, you just listen to me good. I'll tell you what a Scottish death match, man, is. When I was a little tiny boy, brother, way back over the seas, they used to have matches. I was a champion. You know what my daddy used to make me do? He would make me go with any wrestler, and any wrestler who could last 20 minutes with me, I would give him my championship. And you know what, Moondog Man? There wasn't a wrestler around, brother, that could last 20 minutes with me, Moondog Man. And let me tell you something, brother. You think you're so damn tough? Well, I'll tell you something, Moondog Man. Let's just switch it around a little bit, brother. You think you're so tough. You say you're the U.S. champion, even though I am the U.S. champion, Moondog Man. I'll tell you what. If I can't beat you in 20 minutes, Moondog Man, you can keep your stinking title. Title Moondog Man, but one more thing, because I know you think you got it all your way, brother. If I beat you, Moondog Man, never again can you show that ugly bass face of yours in the cow palace, ah, Moondog Man. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, you say okay, Moondog Man, ah. you ugly old goat. Well, let me tell you something. You ain't gonna stand a chance, Moondog Man. Moondog Man, I think you're insane with a face like a bass. Personally, you're a pain in my... Moondog Man, you listen to me, brother. I am gonna be in there when I was a young boy and my daddy used to put me in there. You know what he would do if I lost? He would beat the hell out of me. That's that's what he would do. That's why I never lost, Moondog Man. You don't know what it's like to have to scrape for food, Moondog Man. Everybody's fed you all your life, Moondog Man. Well, they ain't fed me, Moondog Man, and you're going to find out. You're going to find out. Don't you lay your hands on me. Let me That's tell you. You stink, Moondog okay. Man. Okay. Let me tell him. The only thing his dad made him do was drink water out of the toilet. Because I'll tell you on the 29th, there's no way, Piper, that I'll lose that belt. I promised them people there. Hey, I fool! Hey, Come on, Piper! Get up! You think you're so damn tough? Come on, man, get up! Hey, Moondog, no, 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 no. Wait till the 29th. Wait till the 29th. Piper, come on! Come on! No, no, come, on. Come, on. No, come on! Come on! Let's wait. Come on, Piper! Wait till the cow palace. Not here. Not here. Get it, Piper. I won't let you people down. I guarantee you. The 29th, Piper. I'm gonna shove this chair right up your. I promise you, I won't let you down, because you're my people and you supported me. Piper, you're a rat. You did nothing but cheat on me. I've got a couple contracts with him down here in L.A., but I'll tell you what, they're finished. They're finished because he's a rat. While I'm in the ring, I know for a fact he steals money out of my pockets. That's what kind of person he is. Piper, you've had it. You've had it. And this chair or whatever I can get a hold of, Anything I can get a hold of is going to tear his head off. And Moondog, when he says, get your umbrella out, baby, get it out, because it's going to rain. Well, wrestling fans, it happens this Saturday night, July 29th, at the Cow Palace. Moondog Maine doesn't win. He can never come back to the Cow Palace again. Wrestling fans, do your part. Come on down to the Cow Palace. Support him. Plus, the Superman of wrestling, Mil Moskris, at the Cow Palace, Saturday the 29th.